35 NCAA Division I teams get to end their college football seasons with a bull win. The Ohio Bobcats are one of those teams. Tyler Tettleton passed for over 330 yards and two touchdowns, and Bo Blankenship rushed for an Independence Bowl record four touchdowns as the Ohio Bobcats destroyed the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks by a score of 45 to 14. This game certainly did not follow the script as ULM boasted the Sun Belt Offensive Player of the Year in Colton Browning. But the Ohio Bobcats did bring back defensive lineman Tremaine Scott, who missed most of the season with a foot injury. Plus, the Bobcats had a little bit of extra motivation coming out of the tunnel onto the Independence Stadium turf. Hey, take a look at that trophy on the way out, baby. Take a look at that trophy on the way out, baby. Ohio's offense was fast and furious early on after a 26-yard reception on the first play from scrimmage by Tyler Fittrell. Tyler Tettleton found another receiver, Chase Cochran, for 51 yards down to the ULM three-yard line. And on the very next play, it took just three plays for Ohio to get into the end zone. Tettleton to Dante Foster, three yards to pay dirt, and Ohio led quickly 7-0. And the momentum continued on the defensive side on first and 10 from the Ohio 45. Ohio free safety Gerald Moore picks off an overthrown Colton Browning pass. And just four plays later, the Bobcats were in the end zone yet again. Guess who? That's right, Chase Cochran, another big gainer. This time 68 yards to the painted grass. Turns on the afterburners after the catch. And what do you know? The Bobcats are up 14 to nothing, just 8 minutes and 17 seconds into the ball game. And may I add that both of Ohio's opening scoring drives took under two minutes. Browning's struggles continued for the Warhawks on the ensuing possession. Linebacker Jelani Wosley picks him off this time, but the Bobcats would not convert. And on the second play of the second quarter, ULM finally gets on the scoreboard as Colton Browning fires a bullet to receiver Tavares May. And that touchdown gave the Warhawks plenty of momentum and cut Ohio's lead to just seven points. But now for the Bobcats, it was Bo Blankenship's turn to step up and make some plays. Ohio's record holder for single season rushing yards, rushed 22 yards on the first carry of Ohio's next drive. And Tyler Tettleton helped out his high school buddy by rushing 21 yards. That would lead to a 38 yard Matt Weller field goal. And the Bobcats extended their lead to 10 points, 17 to seven. And on ULM's next drive, special teams would step up yet again. This time Ian Wells Blocks a field goal attempt from 43 yards away by ULM's Justin Manton. The Bobcats failed to convert on their next drive on a fake field goal. However, as soon as ULM gets the ball back, there is that big man, Tremaine Scott, number 90, picks off a Colton Browning pass from just feet away, it seemed. He fumbled, but linebacker Keith Moore recovered. And three plays later, Blankenship scampers in from two yards to begin his record-setting night of touchdown scoring. ULM had a chance to get some points before the half. They were on Ohio's 10-yard line with five seconds remaining, but they went for the end zone, and Browning's pass sailed the incomplete, so the Bobcats took a commanding 24-7 lead into the half. It was all smiles for the green and white. If you thought the Warhawks were going to come back in the second half, well, you were sorely mistaken. Bo Blankenship finds pay dirt for the second time on the day, again from two yards away to cap a seven play 75 yard Ohio drive that took two minutes and 38 seconds to begin the third quarter. And after forcing yet another ULM three and out, guess who it is? The hat trick on the day for Bo Blankenship and believe it or not, he would not be done. Number 22 bulldozes his way in from a yard out to all but put the game away for the Bobcats with plenty of time still remaining in the third quarter. The Warhawks would score one more time on a one yard pass from Browning to Kevin Steed but that would be it for ULM's offensive production on the night. And as if the game wasn't already over to begin the fourth quarter, well, Mr. Bo Blankenship put the nail in the coffin from two yards away. His fourth touchdown on the night, setting an Independence Bowl record and giving the Bobcats a 45 to 14 edge. They would hold on to win by that margin, consequently setting an Independence Bowl record for the largest margin of victory. Here we go. There we go. Oh, we won't. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, 
buddy. That's history right there. <laughs> <laughs> Blankenship and Tettleton were named co-offensive MVPs after the game. Here's what Blankenship had to say about sharing the honor with his former Norman North teammate. I don't, I, it's, it's awesome to go out, you know, in the season like this, especially being uh, we're really close friends and, and to, to end it like that. It's, I don't think there's another, a better way to, to end it, and I'm, you know, I'm happy for him, and it's, it's awesome. Keith Moore was named the defensive MVP with nine total tackles, seven of those solo, one sack, and two tackles for an overall loss of 12 yards. We actually put uh, more pressure on the quarterback than we have all year. Um, I was talking to uh, our other linebacker, Jelani, like, hey, uh, Coach Burrow blitzed five times in the first quarter, man. That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, um, <laughs> and no, we were just having fun, like they all said, and uh, um, just trying to keep that quarterback contained and playing at our pace, not theirs. Uh, it feels, um, feels great. You know, obviously the one in Boise, the, the first uh, bowl win ever for our, our university was, uh, was tremendous, but this, this one equals it. I mean, um, um, uh, obviously getting on a little bit of a, a streak is, uh, is in the right direction, is what you're, what you're after, and i um, so proud of our guys to be able to, to get that done. So the Bobcats end their season on a positive note after losing three games prior. They end with nine wins and four losses. So that's it for the Bobcats Sports Showcase's football coverage for 2012. For the rest of the crew, I'd like to thank you for following us the entire way, uh, all the way to this Independence Bowl victory. And don't forget, basketball season's in full swing, so follow us for that as well on the web at woub.org slash showcase and on Twitter at Bobcat Showcase. Signing off from Independence Stadium in Shreveport, Louisiana. For the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Pat Chiesa.